Oh, hi there! Ever heard about the geological hazard? Well, geological hazards are part of the many natural processes of our planet. But that, unfortunately, pose harm or damage to many structures and communities. Still don't get it? Huh. I think you might even have experienced one already. Have you ever felt the sudden shake of the ground? That, my friends, is a geological hazard. Earthquakes Earthquakes are the sudden and violent shaking of the Earth's surface. They occur along fault lines in the planet's crust. Earthquakes may also be a cause of landslides. Landslides are the movement of a massive drop, debris, or earth that is low under the influence of the pull of gravity. Some events that may trigger landslides are earthquakes and heavy rainfall, which can make parts of land unstable. Geological hazards also include volcanic eruptions, like the one we witnessed earlier this year with the Taal volcano in Batangas. These hazards may also induce the giant waves that signals danger to lowland and coastal areas, otherwise known as tsunami. Why must we know these things, you ask? Geological hazards pose a threat to loss of life, property damage, and massive economic and social losses. Being knowledgeable gives us the opportunity to be prepared and reduce the intensity of the damages. Here are some of the do's and don'ts we can take note of for before, during, and after the different hazards. Earthquake do's include keeping calm during the quake, it is best to evacuate into an open space away from infrastructures or buildings. If stuck indoors, take cover under hard wooden tables or other furniture. After the earthquake, check among peers for injuries and surroundings for possible damage. And lastly but not the least, be alert for aftershocks may occur. But do avoid! Number 1 Panic and rush to exit the building. This may cause stampede and worsen the effects of the earthquake. Number two, avoid staying close by glass furniture such as glass, windows, doors, and tables. Number three, after an earthquake, avoid immediately turning on electric power, gas stoves, and enabling water pipes. Damaged parts may cause accidental fires and flooding. In the case of volcanic eruptions, always be updated on the latest forecast and be alert of signs of possible eruption. During an eruption, take note of data. Number 1. Take temporary shelter from volcanic ash and cover ventilation openings, seal doors, and windows. Number 2. Avoid areas downwind and river valleys downstream of the volcano. Rubble and ash will be carried by wind and gravity. Number 3. If outside, protect yourself from falling ash that can irritate skin and injure breathing passages, eyes, and open wounds. Use a well-fitting certified face mask, such as an N95. Avoid driving in heavy asphalt. Number 4. Listen to alerts. The Volcano Notification Service provides up-to-date information about eruptions. Follow evacuation orders from local authorities. Evacuate early. Let's head on to safety precautions during landslides. Did you know that planting a single tree helps plenty? In keeping land intact and reducing the risk of future landslides. Landslides often occur after strong earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and heavy rainfall. Therefore, it is advisable to immediately prepare for evacuating prone areas soon after such phenomena. Always be updated with the news. Listen and follow orders given by local risk reduction units, but above all, it is always best to avoid construction near steep stops of vulnerable areas. And lastly, aftershocks. Like tsunamis are also likely to happen. Therefore, you must also know what to do then. If you experience a shape while at the beach or near the ocean, immediately move to higher ground. Be updated on the occurrence of geological hazards around you and directly follow precautionary measures as ordered by authorities. 
an important reminder, be aware, but be cautious. Don't be hasty and in spreading false information. Vision news is likely to spread as well anyway. There are many ways we can mostly survive the different geological hazards, but it's always better to prevent the cost of everybody's life. So always remember LAMP. Learn your community warning system and listen for emergency information and alerts. Ask your local risk reduction unit for emergency plans and means of protection in case of a hazard. It is a must to know your area's risk from the different phenomena. Always be prepared, gather abundant knowledge, and pack up essential supplies. Let us not wait for the worst to catch us off guard. This friendly reminder is brought to you by Group 3, 11 Corinthians.